this walk takes us from the school building across the horse market to the Arts and Heritage Centre. The school and the head teacher's house were built and opened in 1859. They replaced the National School, which can still be seen on Church Street. The architect was James Fowler of Louth. Mr and Mrs C Winter were appointed as master and mistress of the Dixon Memorial Schools. They came from Grasby National School. The school was paid for by the local community as a memorial to their work for religious education of James Green Dixon and his father William Dixon. To the left of the building in 1957 was opened the first joint Church of England and Methodist Primary School. Over to the right of the school is a close of bungalows. Farm buildings were demolished to accommodate these and some of the land became the school's playing fields. Southdale was the main road making its way through the town and joining Grimsby to Lincoln. The bypass was completed in 1938. Making our way down Boys Hill into Horse Market, we come to Pigeon Spring, one of the many springs around Caister. The last known horse market here was about 1920. Next to the spring is the old fire station. In 1869, the fire station was built by Mr. Button and Mr. Walls. Prior to this, the engine had been stored in what was now the church vestry and a shed near to there. By 1890, a new fire engine had been purchased. It would not fit in the station and the George Inn on South Street was paid to store it in one of their stables. For a while, the fire station became a mortuary. The original beer still exists. On the other side of the street, on the corner, can be seen where a house must have been demolished. It was demolished because a murder took place here just after World War I. The murderer was hanged at Lincoln Castle Prison in 1920. Further along the street is Hope House. Until the mid 19th century, water ran from Pigeon Spring until it met a strong stream of spring water coming down the valley. The stream crossed the road as a ford, making travel through the market difficult. Francis and Roger Anderson, a farmer, lived in Hope House from at least 1837. Miss Sharman moved into the property in 1855. She used the building as a young lady's seminary. She had teachers for French, drawing and dancing. There was another school in Horse Market and Plough Hill area run by Mrs Shelton. Back across the road where the 60s flats are was a hostel or lodging house for what might have been known as travellers or tramps. It was probably the site of an inn, possibly the nag's head or the horse and jockey. Behind the flats was the gas works. It was opened in 1856 and the town was lighted with gas for the first time. The manager's house and workshop still exist. The streets of Caister were still lit by gas lamp up to the 1950s. Moving further along the street, there are retail properties. The earliest mention of any property on the site is in 1760, where there was a malt kiln. In 1835, it was sold to Robert Eyre, a cheesemonger, for £250. He didn't want it and pulled it down and replaced it by seven cottages. So most of the present shop and houses date from this time. Across from here is the Arts and Heritage Centre, which previously was the local youth club, and before that, the primitive Methodist chapel. 
The first chapel was built in 1839, quite close to the present site, reached by a narrow passage between the weavers' cottages. It looked like a barn. Evidently, worship was not carried out under ideal conditions, for nearby lived Henry Day, a rag and bone merchant, whose perfumery penetrated within the walls of the chapel. In 1868, the existing chapel was opened. In 1932, the Primitive and Wesleyans started sharing alternate Sundays. And in 1968, the building was sold to the Lincolnshire Youth Service. Behind the chapel can be seen the line of the Roman wall. It is believed that the stone for the wall was quarried from behind the cottages on the opposite side of the road.